the atom. At its most basic, an atom consists of three fundamental particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons reside at the center, forming the nucleus, while electrons whirl around in a cloud-like formation. Each atom is uniquely defined by its number of protons, which we call its atomic number. Together, these particles form the smallest unit of a chemical element. The heart of an atom is the nucleus, a dense core that contains nearly all the atom's mass. Protons, carrying a positive charge, determine the atom's identity, while neutrons, electrically neutral, stabilize the nucleus by countering the repulsion between protons. For example, carbon always has six protons in its nucleus. If you add one more, you get nitrogen. Despite its immense mass, the nucleus is incredibly small, about 100,000 times smaller than the atom itself. To visualize this, imagine the atom as a football stadium. The nucleus would be the size of a marble at the center. Surrounding this tiny nucleus is the electron cloud, where negatively charged electrons move at unimaginable speeds. Electrons are arranged in energy levels or shells, but their exact locations are not fixed. Instead, we use probability maps called orbitals to predict where they're most likely to be found. These orbitals vary in shape, from simple spheres to intricate patterns. Electrons occupy these regions based on their energy, ensuring the atom's structure is both balanced and dynamic. What holds this intricate system together? Fundamental forces. The electromagnetic force keeps negatively charged electrons bound to the positively charged nucleus. Within the nucleus, the strong nuclear force binds protons and neutrons together, overpowering the repulsion between positively charged protons. This is the most powerful force in the universe, but it acts only at very short distances. Meanwhile, the weak nuclear force governs radioactive decay, a process critical to the formation of new elements in stars and even the technologies we use on Earth. Not all atoms are the same. Isotopes are atoms of the same element that differ in the number of neutrons. For instance, carbon, 12 and carbon, 14 are both carbon atoms, but the latter is radioactive and used for dating ancient artifacts. Atoms can also lose or gain electrons, becoming ions. Lose an electron and you have a positively charged ion. Gain an electron and the charge becomes negative. These variations are the basis of chemistry and life itself. The atom's behavior is best described by quantum mechanics, a theory that revolutionized our understanding. In this view, electrons don't orbit like planets around the sun. Instead, they exist in states of probability, appearing as clouds rather than fixed points. Electrons also exhibit a dual nature, behaving as both particles and waves. This wave-particle duality is fundamental to how atoms interact with light and other atoms, shaping the universe as we know it. But the atom isn't the end of the story. Its components, protons, neutrons, and electrons, are made of even smaller particles. Protons and neutrons are built from quarks, held together by particles called gluons, while electrons belong to a group called leptons. These particles are described by the standard model of particle physics, a framework that explains how the universe's fundamental building blocks interact. It even predicts particles like the Higgs boson, which gives other particles mass, a discovery confirmed in 2012.